Hey, thank you so much for clicking on this video. If this is your first time here to the channel, please make sure and go ahead and drop that subscription as well as click the notification bell. I definitely would appreciate it. Also, guys, we do have a goal of getting up to 500 Discord members by the end of the year. So if you're not already in that and you do have a Discord account and you're 13 years or older, please make sure to go ahead and check it out, guys. I definitely would appreciate it. But nonetheless, hopefully you do enjoy the video. And also one last thing, if you don't know, I do have channel memberships now. You can actually click the join button. And guys, I do stream on here on Tuesdays and Thursdays now. So if you were a member, you could actually have your own little icon next to your name. You could also comment with that same icon, but it's called the Sponsor and Supporter Tiers. Thank you guys so much, and hopefully you do enjoy the video. Hey, what is going on, everyone? My name is Cuber, and something that I'm asked fairly frequently is, how in the world do I get Damascus Gun so quickly? And it's it's not beautiful, it's not bright, but I'm going to go ahead and show you my main methods for getting Damascus Unlocks extremely quickly, guys. Like, it's going to be uh, revolution. No, I'm joking. It's not going to be revolutionary, but you are going to kind of understand my thought process into this. So, as the uh, gameplay was just demonstrating there, I'm actually going for Damascus on the MP7. And obviously we have attachments now, so this actually does aid us in this quest to get all of our weapons uh, Damascus-fied, I guess. But uh, technically that's not really my goal. I just want to do the ones that I want to use the most. And the MP7 just seemed like a likely candidate. First thing to take note of, you if you don't even know how to actually get Damascus, essentially you must complete all these different challenges right here. And the very first thing I ask is, well, which challenge should I prioritize? And my answer always is prioritize the one that double dip or even triple dip. So I made a video about this on recoil as well, but the, some of the logic is still going to be applied here. So you have crouching, sliding, hit fire, ADS, headshots, and then total kills. Now, obviously, all in one go, you can automatically go for double dips here whenever you're going to go for just kills in general. You can try to aim for the head and try to go for the kill. Now, you can also triple dip down here. So let's say we're going for crouching kills, okay? So I'm going to make sure to A, crouch, B, get a headshot, and then C, make sure it's just a kill, right? Or you could even quadruple drip, right? You follow me, guys? Crouch, then hit fire, then headshot, and it counts for kills. So that's quadruple dripping. That is essentially how I get my Damascus weapon so quickly. I am just going to go ahead and show you my process for crouching kills, but once again, this is literally quadruple dripping if you really want to think about it. Crouching, one. Hit fire or ADS, two. Uh, headshot kills three and then total kills four so make sure you don't just go for kills first you could be knocking out all these other requirements and the two that I hate the most are sliding and crouching so I'm definitely gonna be prioritizing those to the extent that I can normally I always have headshot kills last and that just takes a little bit of grinding right N unless you're just a god with the headies right who knows man but let's go ahead and just showcase me trying to crouch over and over again for this and for those of you that actually watch me on stream you will see me doing this process over over and over again. What I do is I make sure I come to a complete stop, right? And then I crouch because if you don't come to a complete stop and you crouch, this counts as a sliding. It even counts as a sliding for a little bit of a duration after you complete the slide. So you got to keep that in mind. I literally aim down sights, even though this is literally an SMG, not really meant for sniping, but you know, man. So yeah, guys, that's literally the only secret. I find an enemy, I drop, and then I shoot. That's it. I make sure to come to a complete full stop, Right, so I can make sure to get the crouch kill. Makes oh, I couldn't even get him, man. There's a guy right behind me. I'm, you even saw me right then. I made sure to come to a complete stop. Crouching is definitely one of those ones that I don't want to do. So that's just you know I want to knock it out first because it's definitely one of the ones I don't want to keep playing as. So as stated, I do not like crouching. I don't normally play with a crouching playstyle like ever. So I'm gonna be inclined to finish the one I don't want to do first. We're just gonna keep going for these kills, man. That's all we're gonna do. We're just gonna keep dropping and shooting. Drop. Hopefully kill him. Okay. Boom. Oh, this guy right behind me. Oh, oh. Oh, see, that's going to count as a sliding kill, but I still need sliding kills as well. So I went ahead and let the slide go. But as you can tell, like, you can't win them every time, man. Oh, man, they're all over here. Whoa, I need to I need to chill out for a second. This guy right here. Oh, can I please aim? Thank you. Like I said, new map. This one, luckily, is a little bit closer range. So that'll definitely aid us in this quest here today. And it's on King of the Hill, which you can kind of farm those kills as they're running on top of the hill itself. Oh, see, that was a total hit fire kill. It's so easy to quadruple drip, guys, as I've literally said twice now. Easy. Oh, my gosh, dude. I'm telling you, man. Then you can just chill on this hill, farm these kills for days, boys. That's all you got to do. And that was a headshot. See, we just technically quadruple dripped right then. Isn't that insane how much it really does add up over time? If you keep trying to consistently crouch and kill, boom. 
Dude, see, that's exactly what I'm talking about, man. Like, you, you still play aggressively, you still run up in their face, you still do all the good little tricks, but just make sure to crouch, man. That's all it is, dude. You see someone off in the distance, you crouch. Now, let's say figuratively you have achieved all of your crouching kills, right? So let's go ahead and go for sliding. So I'm going to be running around trying to find my next victim or my next few victims here. Okay, I see some people spawning back there. All right, so I'm stalking here. Oh, I just got ADS. Look at that, dude. Easy dub. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and slide for that kill. Make sure that you do slide and you're running already. That's kind of key. Oh, that was going to be a crouching kill. I'm going to do this as a sliding. Oh, whaffed all his shots. That may have actually been a sliding kill. So for those of you who don't actually know, it used to be where you would pretty much have the slide and kill them during the slide but now sliding kills actually count for a little bit of duration afterwards and that was actually added previously whenever they uh, nerfed the damascus requirements oh such a good molotov dude oh my gosh this guy right here go ahead and get both of them from behind oh i still missed that one last shot oh easy Oh, you gotta go for the easy headshots. If you see an AFK standing there, make sure to aim for their head. Don't just go for a body shot, man. That easiest opportunity to get a headshot right then and there if it's on an AFK. Yo, we're already at 400 out of 500 MP7 kills. That's what I'm saying, man. I have played with this a uh, little bit off camera, and of course I've played with it in randomizer and stuff like that, but dude, it's actually insane what I've already accomplished so far. Like, I just even playing this game for like three or four hours can literally get you a Damascus on the gun if you play carefully and you strategize what you're trying to do for sure. Go ahead and get that guy. Maybe get this guy. Easy dubs, dude. This guy right here. Make sure to crouch while I'm doing it. Oh, we're actually going 30 and 4. We're actually doing pretty fantastic right now. See? Still being aggressive. Still running around. We're not sacrificing any of our mobility or aggressiveness. Because we're just going straight in, man. So you can still play like your regular play style. Especially if you're like me. There we go. There we go. Dude, we're, we're so low on health right now, too. We're just kind of chilling and vibing. Hoping that we don't die with our little minimal health here. That wasn't even a crouch, but I had to go ahead and get in here. And we just took the hill. Fantastic, dude. Also, guys, you want to have a really easy Damascus? Try to prioritize uh, getting Damascuses on your throwables. I mean, I'm getting pretty close now. You know, I'm only 33 kills away, but dude, I've been just playing this regularly, not even really trying for it. But like, honestly, on the grenade and stuff like that, that would probably be also really easy to get Damascus on, considering that what? It's literally just kills. I even have 210 out of 500 just whenever I used to use it back in the day until I unlocked Molotov. So that just goes to show that you can unlock the role of Damascus is pretty easily. Sorry, homie. Oh, and we actually got the last kill of the game. Dude, we went 61 and 12. Now, not to mention, I would say roughly at least half, maybe to three-fourths of those kills were all crouching kills. So that just goes to show how quickly, especially if you're good at the game, how quickly you can get Damascus on some of these guns. Let's just look, take a look, man. Yeah, now we're 152 out of 250. We're honestly not too far off in like maybe two or three more games, and I could potentially have it depending on what game mode it is, how we play it. Sliding kills, like I said, only eight kills away. I sometimes naturally get sliding kills simply because I forget to stop and crouch hit fire kills of course and ads will kind of come at the same time look i already have it full fully for ads so that was pretty easy right um so just looking at it here headshot kills that's always the one like i've said before that's that's the hang up man trying to get those headshot kills look at that didn't even see me but he let me kill him anyways oh my gosh dude hit fire kills too <sighs> And although that was actually an ADS kill, but hey man, now we need to prioritize uh, hit fire kills as well as crouching. So I'll make sure to go ahead and do that as well. And we can use our little red laser as well. So thankfully the attachments have come out, you know. Uh, of course, I had to stand up for those two because my mobility was kind of tarnished due to the crouching. Now, one of the more harder weapon classes to actually get Damascus on is definitely the sniper. I would say that the Damascus on the DSR is probably my most most proudest weapon that I have it on. I'm not even going to lie to you because getting on that, you have to have prone kills. You have to have crouching kills with a sniper and the prone kills are just awful to try and get, man. Oh my gosh, how am I not dead? Dude, what? What? How did I get away from that, dude? No way. Easy dubs. Even though we actually lost that TDM, dude, look at my score. We went 62 and 14, man. 62 and 14 with a 4.43 KD. So after two games, what exactly does it look like now? So we look down. Dude, we're already at 190, right? We literally need 60 more kills. So once again, two more games, three more games. Who knows, man? But we would have this 100%. That is literally my tried and true method for getting Damascus on any gun as quickly as possible, right? That is how you do it. If you guys have any more questions or if you have any more comments or concerns, please make sure to go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. But I definitely do appreciate you guys coming on in here and asking the question and me making the video on it. I definitely do appreciate the idea. But guys, hopefully you did enjoy the video and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks guys.